Hi, this is Rochelle again, and we're back in uh, tutorial three. I'm going to be signing back into the WordPress, and actually, it's better to go to WordPress.com. Like I said in the previous tutorials, the best way to sign in is to continue with the Google. I don't want that. I want to use my Google because Google remembers all your passwords. Although it is a good idea to write your password down or get a password manager, which I am going to be talking about in another tutorial. Okay, so now I have now signed in and I am, because I have a number of um, different projects that I'm working at, I'm going to go to the one that I'm working at right now. This lesson is going to be about customizing your theme or changing your theme. So basically your site is not looking the way that you want it to look. So if you don't like the way it looks, you can change your theme. And I currently changed my theme to the sketch theme. And um, this one is right down here. This is what it could possibly look like. This is the one that's active right now. I can change it to, let's say, of course, Remember, when you see the money signs down here, that means that these are ones that do cost you money. And there also is another way that you can create your own as well. So I'm just going to go with, um, I'm going to try this one. Activate it. Customize the site. Okay. Now remember that we're working with a free uh, WordPress, so this does not cost you any money. Okay, um, so to go back, our site identity, WordPress tutorials. And of course, they always make me change that. Um, my tagline is free do-it-yourself WordPress. There's my logo and there is my site icon. And it gives you dimensions here as to how you can do your, your site icon, which we will get into in another tutorial. Um, your colors and your backgrounds. Okay, so right now the background is in a default and that looks like it's a white, but I'm going to look at the palettes here. And I want to choose something that's going to be okay with my logo. So I chose that my background. Um, going back into the background, uh, now the fonts. This is a default right here. This is your default theme, but I want to change it up and make it into something different. So I'm going to go with uh, this one. It 
And for the default theme, I am going to go with something that I guess every, everybody can see, which is th this one. So the headings are going to be in this. And the base font is going to be in the Nordica task text. Uh, you can also make your text larger if you want. It all depends on what your site is going to look like. So now we're going to there. There, um, I've. You can do randomized headings, which is this one here. And what that means is all of these will come up at different times. Of course, if you do use this, you have to publish it so that it's there. I'm just going to publish it so that you can see. And these different headings will come up at different times. It will all change. Um, or you can add a new image, which I have done. And I believe I've had that one. It shows you here what your heading can look like. So I, I'm just going to crop it where I, I want it to be, which is there. So now this is going to be my heading up here instead of any one of these. And I'm going to publish that. But you can change it. And you can also add new images as well. With this particular uh, theme, the, the heading is smaller. Okay, uh, menus. Menus are normally, there's normally two menus that come with a theme, and they're located up here and down here. For instance, if I go with the primary menu, you could see that it normally has a page, your contact, and the blog. You can reorder these if you want. You can change it. You could put your contact up here. Um, your posts that you've already made or another menu but I've created an, another menu which you don't need to worry about right now and your blog and I'm just publishing that now we will get into this in another tutorial we're just going over this, what everything is, um, your content options. So, in your blog, you can display your full post or just a post excerpt, ex excerpt, and I would say full post. You can display your date, display categories, display tags, display the author. Um, in your featured images, you can display blogs and, and archives. Single posts, this is all very self-explanatory. If you don't use a featured image, it'll just automatically take the first image that's in your post and use that as a featured in image. So I'm just going to publish that. Widgets. Widgets and widget areas are going to be in another tutorial, but basically in a theme, there's four areas. The sidebar, which is located here at the, the left-hand side, uh, the footer, 
which is at the bottom of the page. And um, usually, if you want to add a widget in there, a widget is a piece of HTML or information that you want to put, like, for instance, blogs that you follow. So all this information will be filled in, and you can publish that, and I will show you at the bottom later the, one of the widgets and how it works. Um, usually, the easiest widget to show you is the calendar. These are all ones that you can put in your blog, and it makes your blog more interesting and gives um, people who come to visit your website more information. I like to put a calendar in. And I'm just going to title it calendar. Okay. And once that's done, I publish it. And then you'll be able to see the calendar. I was going to bring that up a little bit so that you can see the calendar. See, I put the calendar in here. That is what you call a widget. Okay. I'm going to add another widget. And I'm not going to... Um, I'm not going to put the all the information in there. I'm actually looking for the Facebook widget. There we go. It's called the Facebook plugin. And uh, what that is, is it's going to pick up from your Facebook, your Facebook information, and it's all going to come in, come up here. And basically all the information you need for that is from your Facebook, which I will go into in another uh, tutorial. But right now, I'm just putting this in here just to, to show you. And I'm going to publish that. And uh, I believe that's going on the sidebar as well, so that's going to come up. This is where I showed you the blogs I follow. These are all different uh, blogs that I've done. But you can put blogs that you follow in there. It doesn't matter. Okay, um, your home page settings. Now this is important because do you want to have your latest blogs coming up? Or do you want to have a static page? If you choose a static page, then you're going to add a new page to become your static page. So say I wanted to add a new page, and I'm going to call it uh, WordPress Tutorials. So I want to publish that. Now, I've added a new page, which I'm going to use as my home page. And it's going to remain that way so that when people come to visit, they're going to come to that page first. Now we're going to get into the theme options. It says, what style do you want? Do you want default or do you want classic? We're just going to leave it as that. Where do you want your sidebar to be on the left or the right? Right now it's on the uh, right. Sometimes you can put it on the left. You can move it over there if you wanted to or back to the right.
This is all something we're going to get into later. This and, and that. We're going to get into that all later. This is just going through everything. Um, say you want testimonials on here so you can actually put an image probably of a person and their testimonial right here and it will show up on your page for testimonials. And then this, I'm going to, because this page does not have the AMP, I'm going to show you what that is. Okay, it's the design. Right now, I've selected red for my header colors, but I can select another color. Say I select purple. I'll uh, we'll turn that color, which of course is it doesn't look good. So I'm going to stick with my red right now for that. Um, I can also uh, select my background color for my headers. Um, with the red, I could select this one, or I could select that. It, it all depends on what's going to look the best, right? What do you like? I can see right now that that is not the colors that I'm interested in. I want to get have a color that's compatible with what I'm working with, okay? Also, you can do a light color scheme or you can do a dark color scheme. And I kind of like the dark, so I'm going to publish that. So now, when this is done, I'm going to close the customizer. which is this X right here. And I'm going to uh, view my site to see what I've done so far. And this is what I've done. This is my home page. This is going to be my, where my Facebook is going to go, um, which I will show you in another tutorial. And this is my header. Because I've decided to have a static home page, this is what's going to show up all the time. If I was to change that to my most latest blogs, then I would go back into uh, my customizer for my themes. And back into the home page settings and change that to my latest blogs. Publish that. And then go back, close that down, go into visit my site again. And there, my latest blog is going to come up. That I did. No, I have this a little larger, so that's why it's a little um, harder to see. But basically, this is your first um, customization. You know that you can go anytime into here to themes. Decide what you'd like. Say you want to check out a certain layout. You're going to find that most of these are more uh, more that you pay for. But like for instance, say you wanted this one. 
let's go here and without going into the live app demo, let's activate it. Customize it. And of course, we're going to go through all of these, almost all the, the same actions, but I'm only going to show you one. Okay, this is actually the picture that's going to be behind there. It's called a header image. So what I want to do is say I wanted to change that. I could use a picture that's here. Or it shows me here that it needs to be 2,000 by 800 pixels. And I'm going to go through that in another program for you to, to see how you can make your own. But for now, I'm going to publish this. And do you see how it's kept most of my information here that I put in from before? So uh, that is how easy it is to be able to um, customize your theme, to change your theme. Um, and this is the end of the uh, tutorial three. Please subscribe and give me a like so I know that what I'm doing people like and I will continue doing more. Thank you and have a nice day.